What's going on everybody, a respawn gentleman here. So some huge news you can see right here behind me was just released by Techland. We have a post launch roadmap for the rest of the year and it, I'm just super excited. So you can see April through May are things we already know about new game plus new mutations and um, the booster events. So that's all that's happening right now. Starting next month from June through August, we will get photo mode and community events. That is amazing this is something that people have been asking for for the longest time we're finally getting it i'm super 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 excited about it we're also getting this thing called chapter one in the footsteps of a night runner um based off of what's below it it says new content you get an agent and rank system missions and bounties rewards and new enemies my thinking is it may be something similar to like a season pass kind of thing like a lot of games have so maybe it's something where you level up and you get different rewards and it's only available during that chapter. And so when the next chapter comes out, you can't get that stuff anymore. Things like that. I think that's an interesting approach. We'll see, you know, how that actually all plays out when that comes out. But either way, the fact that we're getting more like leveling systems and more rewards and new enemies and more missions like it's just fantastic. I can't wait to see what that involves now. Previously, they did say that the first Dora DLC was going to be released in June, so it looks like they have changed that. So on the September through November, we will be getting the first story DLC. You can actually see at the bottom the paid content is coming in September. So September, we will get the first story DLC that is you know paid for if you have the Ultimate Edition or if you just buy it separately. Um, so that's when we're actually going to be getting that is this is September instead of June. And we're also going to be getting chapter two of whatever this chapter thing is. And again, this says new content, agent and rank system, missions, and bounties, new enemies. So that kind of makes me believe, like I said before, it's like a, a season thing like a lot of games have like a season pass or, or, or battle pass, you could say. Um, so I'm really interested to see how that plays out. And when it gets closer, and we have more information. I will definitely share that with all of you as well. Um, then on the far side over here, they say five years of support. So in the future, at some point, we're getting the second story DLC, which for sure won't happen until next year or at least until December, um, since they only cover till November. So we'll have to see when it gets closer to that. And the new content says they got new weapons, new enemies, new story events, um, free and paid DLCs and much more. So there's going to be a whole ton of stuff that they're adding into the game in the over the next five years and i'm super excited about it and can't wait to share with this with all of you guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dying light content make sure to like and subscribe you can also check out my discord community where we have 200 plus members and counting and if you want to help support this channel i now have channel memberships which gives you all sorts of really great perks if you want to check those out i have them linked in the description below thanks for watching see you guys next time